On this TV, we are playing Dragon Ball Sparking Zero, which is a sequel to the game Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenachi from 2023. We're going to focus on the episode battles in the game. So enjoy this one, guys. Like and share. Tell me how you're finding this game and if you tried it so far. Oh, hey, Dad! Hey! Let's take a peek, shall we, Lord Beerus? Okay, let's do this thing! You should join us, Kakarot. Think of the battles you'll have. Isn't your Saiyan blood boiling with excitement from the thought? Shut up! If you think I'd ever join you, then you're dumber than you look! Yes. I can't help yes. but wonder, yes. that child behind you, is that your son? He, he's not! Yes, that boy indeed has Saiyan blood. It's no use trying to hide it from me. I can see his tail from here. So what if he does? You know, perhaps you need a little time to decide. I'll just borrow your son for a while so you can think over my offer. Take one step closer to Gohan and I'll knock you out! Back off! Take this! Trembling If you want your little brat returned safely, Kakarot, prove your Saiyan spirit. Eliminate 100 Earthlings and pile them here before I return in one day. And let me be very clear about this. If I come back and I don't see 100 corpses, I kill the kid. Piccolo? But what are you doing here? I was pursuing him. And as much as I'd like to kill the wretch myself, the sad truth is I have a better shot at that. If you were along for the ride. Hold on, you mean team up with me? Why in the world would you ever do that? Don't get the wrong idea. This would just be a temporary alliance, only for the sake of eradicating that alien off my planet. Once that purpose has been served, I'll keep my promise to crush you. And then I can get back to my plans of world domination. Bulma, I need to borrow the Dragon Radar for a bit. Oh, uh, of course! Let's go! Think you can keep up with my flying Nimbus? You gotta be kidding. I'm a cut above the rest of you puny humans when it comes to flying. Oh, ha! 
Kakarot. I thought you'd at least be smarter than this. But you have no idea how out of your league you are. Let's skip the pleasantries. We're here to take you down. Simple as that. I'm sorry, brother. I was thinking about my offer and I've changed my mind. You'd probably just slow the rest of us down. And for betraying the Saiyan race, you will die! Since you're going to be eradicated anyway, let me share a little something with you. The two Saiyans I mentioned earlier, they're even more powerful than me. Go to hell! <laughs> you could train yourself for a lifetime and never even come close to their level! But since you were too stupid to heed my warning, you're not going to survive another day anyhow! Yeah. How about this? Yeah. We're settling this right here and now! Hummy, hummy! You've got a new special attack hidden up your sleeve. Now's the time to use it, Goku. <laughs> Sorry, nope. <laughs> Lazy fool. Meanwhile, I've been training non-stop to develop a sure kill technique. For real? Yeah. Only problem is it takes some time to charge up before I can use it. So I'm gonna need you to fight him alone until then, if you can handle it. Gotcha. I'll take care of him. Solar flare! We're settling this right here and now! Now! Don't hurt my dad! Leave him alone! No, stop! Don't do it! Please, he's just a... Just a child? Is that what you were going to say, Kakarot? Don't worry, brother. You'll see your son again in the next world. What, you little P Piccolo? Your attack! Do it now! Ah, are you insane? Maybe, but it's the only way to beat you. Sorry to keep you waiting. Are you ready? Do it! No, stop! Special Beam Cannon! On this planet, we have these things called the Dragon Balls. Gather all seven, and together they have the power to grant any wish. 
even if it's bringing someone dead back to life. You can all go to hell. Still, I thank you for the information. <laughs> Everything that has happened here today has been transmitted to my two Saiyan comrades deep in outer space. When they've learned that I've been killed, they'll come to avenge me. The, the other two Saiyans, when, when will they arrive here? How long? One year. Just one short year. <laughs> Damn. T two of them? Even stronger than him? How sweet does that victory taste now? They're going to wipe you all out. They'll soon have you writhing in agony like the worms you are. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> How's it feel seeing your little friend's corpse has scattered all over? There was another one. But there's probably not a scrap of him left. Piccolo's gone. What, you gonna throw a fit, small fry? Go right ahead. Ha ha ha. That stupid look on your face just makes me want to kill you faster. You'll pay for this! You'll both pay! You bastards! Out of my way! Vegeta! What does the scouter say about his power level? It's over 9,000! What? 9,000? That scouter's a piece of junk! It's gotta be a mistake! Doesn't matter. A little punk like you can't do anything against the mighty Nappa! This is insanity! How could anyone gain that much power in such a short amount of time? Alright! You're the greatest, Goku! Show that muscle head who's boss! Get him, Dad! Vegeta! Help me! for a paralyzed You're dead white! Uh, he's a psycho! He, he, he just killed his own partner for no reason! Both of you need to get back to Kame House where it's safe! But, Dad, I... No, he's right! You saw what that other Saiyan can do? If we stick around, we'll only be getting in your dad's way! Sorry, Gohan. This guy's stronger than I thought he'd be. We've lost enough. I can't lose you two either! Okay. I understand, Dad.
Let's finish this someplace else. Fine by me. Makes no difference. Okay, this spot should do. From what I can tell, there's no people or animals nearby. Interesting. Of all the places on your planet, you chose this as your gravesite. <laughs> you should feel lucky. Not every low-class warrior gets the chance to spar with a super elite like myself. Not long after Saiyans are born, their skills as a soldier are tested. The scum whose scores are ranked the lowest are sent to the outer worlds, where the opponents are weak. Much like you were, Kakarot. In other words, you were cast out like a dog. Yes, and as a result, I was lucky enough to come here to Earth. I'm grateful for that. Besides, even a lower-class outcast can surpass an elite if he puts his mind to it. <laughs> it's a nice attempt at a joke. Now let me show you a wall that you will never have the ability to scale through effort alone! <laughs> Insolence just cost you this world! What the? There's no way in hell that you can stop my gallant gun! You and this whole planet are as good as space dust! should have never gotten rid of your tail, Kakarot! 
But now you'll learn firsthand what a Saiyan is really capable of! Did you feel that? There's a tremendous energy and it's swelling up even bigger! I don't think it's my dad's energy we're sensing, is it? Something's wrong! I'm going back there! Go on, hold up! I'm going too! Wait! <laughs> don't blink, Kakarot! These will be your final moments before I crush you! A am I losing my mind? He turned into a giant monkey! This is crazy! How do I f- <laughs> Since when were we dealing with a hundred foot tall monster? Only choice now is to gather energy from all over the Earth and make a spirit bomb! No! After all this time, I get it! The monster that killed Grandpa, and the one that destroyed the tournament arena! All, all of that was... was me? I owe this to you, Gramps. I need to beat this guy. No matter what! I'll have to use every ounce of my energy for the tiniest chance at victory! If I die, I'll see you in the next world! At least I'll get to apologize to you! this time, I get it. The monster that killed Grandpa, and the one that destroyed the tournament arena. All, all of that was... was me? I owe this to you, Gramps. I need to beat this guy. No matter what. I'll have to use every ounce of my energy for the tiniest chance at victory. If I die, I'll see you in the next world. At least I'll get to apologize to you! Take this! I'll break you! Yeah! 
I need total focus to use the spirit bomb. It'll only take about 10 seconds. Come on, give me just 10 lousy seconds to concentrate. I think I put enough distance between us. Oh, you coward! Where are you? Come out and face me! Time's up! He found me! There, it's done! I've gathered energy from every corner of the world! Now! This is the end of the line, Kakarot. Even if you do manage to come back to life, this miserable planet won't be around anymore. Die! Consider that a little farewell present. I don't have the strength to lift a finger. So just do what you're gonna do to me, alright? Take your best shot! Damn you, Kakarot! How dare you leave a scar on my beautiful face! Just for that, I'm going to crush you like a grape! <laughs> Why don't I kick it up a notch? <laughs> What's that I hear? Every bone in your body breaking? Must hurt! <laughs> I think your friends are here. How quaint! It. This must be the spirit bomb. It's all up to you now. What the heck are you doing just standing there? You gonna throw the dang thing or what? Huh? No choice now. Take this! Ha! <gasps> Bouncing back, Gohan! I promise! It won't hurt you!
Here it goes! The Saiyans are a true warrior race! Don't underestimate us! Sorry, you were wide open, so I just went for it. Matt, you little punk. Look, you guys have got a choice to make here. Either get off this planet and go home, or you're gonna wind up like your friend here. Did you hear that, Bertha? This jolt knocks out Raccoon with a lucky shot, and suddenly he's dishing out threats to the likes of us. Mm, he's got some nerve. Let's teach this old punk why the Ginyu Force are the most elite warriors in the galaxy. Let's go! Yeah! This is what happens to morons who underestimate the Ginyu Force. How dare you! Get ready, Kame! Crush that ball!
So, this is the guy, huh? His power level's only around 5,000. That's him, Captain. Don't be fooled. This freak's way stronger than that. He must be capable of boosting his strength in the midst of combat. From what I can tell, I'd say his true power level is somewhere around 60,000. S- 60,000? But that can't be. This guy's just a puny Saiyan. It's not unheard of. He could have a natural talent, or perhaps his abilities have been amplified by a mutation like us. Either way, this battle's sure to be interesting. To think I'd find an opponent that I can finally demonstrate my full power on. So, are we gonna dance or fight? <laughs> Have fun, Kakarot! Petita! This is gonna be good! Vegeta, this isn't exactly going to be a cakewalk. I don't remember asking for help, Burger. I'm perfectly capable of fighting my own battles. But in again, and it'll be you I pulverize, understood? <laughs> Your strength is unbelievable. Yeah, I think I'll take it. What do you mean by that? Change now! Hello, can you hear me? Hey, Giuliano, welcome back to the stream, and thank you for the follow. Okay. Guys, listen! That's not me, it's Ginyu! Using my body! The others arrived to find Goku battling his own body unknown to everyone, and Vegeta has his own plans for Ginyu, but first... Seeing that Butter has lost his will to fight, Vegeta ruthlessly puts an end to his life. Vegeta, why? They couldn't even defend themselves! Shut up! You're too soft-hearted, Kakarot! It's kill or be killed! After finishing off Burger, Vegeta shifts his attention to Genyu, who has taken over Goku's body. Now it's time to finish the job! Now die! Fool! Change now! Please let this work! What? Oh no! Goku rushes to intercept the Ginyu's body chain technique and is able to reclaim his own body just in the nick of time. B bastard! How 
dare you! You ruined everything! I'm back to being me again! What? What the hell is going on? What does Kakarot think he's doing? I better swap with a fresh body and quick! Yours will do, Vegeta! Oh? Or nothing! <laughs> Suspecting Ginyo's plan, Goku chose a frog between the captain and Vegeta. What in the world? Ordered Captain Ginyu is now trapped. Goku is then put inside a medical machine to recover. However, he can sense Vegeta and others fighting nearby. Now get ready! <laughs> Meanwhile, Vegeta and others sense an immense power coming from their opponent, one that far exceeds their own. Just as he marveling at Frieza's strength, Goku's treatment, treatment finished, and he is fully healed. Try to hang on just a little bit longer. I'm on my way, guys! When Goku arrives at the raging battle, Vegeta is moments away from death at Frieza's hands. I, I'm begging you, please, beat him for me, for the pride of our race. You must defeat him. Please, he must... Die by a Saiyan's hand! And so the battle between Goku and Frieza begins. This is gonna be interesting, ladies and gentlemen. For you to beg me for my help. I can only imagine how hard that must have been for you to do. I may have hated you when you were alive, but I always respected your pride. And now it's time for me to share that pride. Pride in myself. I am a Saiyan that was raised on planet Earth. And in the name of every single Saiyan that you've made suffer, for them and all the people of planet Namek too, I will defeat you! We will, we will. Well, yeah, I'm doing well, thank you for all. And I'd just love to see you try. Both of you, we need to get out of here and quick. We'll only be in the way. Dragon Ball Z used to be one of my, or still is Go one on, of my favorite come on, series hurry! as a kid, and as I grow up. Please don't die, Dad! Make Frieza pay for what he did! All right, we gotta fight Frieza. I still remember his. Yeah. Oh, you yeah. Okay. You I don't know if I've ever felt this excited about the prospect of a battle in my entire life. Now I only need to decide how I'll kill you. Okay, cool. A halfway decent plan! I was really hoping I wouldn't have to rely on this again. 
I want to win this fight. My only choice is to gather enough energy for a spirit bomb. A halfway decent plan. Bang. Uh oh. with me for a spirit bomb Darn. Hey, hey, Daddy. please oh, we Survive in the vacuum of space. Uh -oh. But can you? I uh -oh. Now perish along with this planet! Uh -oh. <laughs> Shit. I don't know if I've ever felt this excited about the prospect of a battle in my entire life. Now I only need to decide how I'll kill you. is brutal.
This little yeah. thing is bad. I don't know if I've ever felt this excited about the prospect of a battle in my entire life. Now I only need to decide how I'll kill you. A halfway decent plan! Bang. I'm not done yet. Don't bother. Yeah. I'm not done yet. I think I'll toy with you a bit. It's time for sudden death! Why don't we finish with the rehearsal? Coming, coming! really hoping I wouldn't have to rely on this again. But if I want to win this fight, my only choice is to gather enough energy for a spirit bomb. Yes, that's the best we can do, Frieza. Goku Spiritborn has finally brought an end to the long and hard fought battle. At last, our heroes can rest, or so they think, until. No! It can't be! Frieza's alive! No! Please! Piccolo! I advise against placing too much stock in your escape. Though if you like, I can bring you closer to home! <laughs> Trillin! No, Frieza! Don't do it! Go, go! <laughs> I think the brat should go next. You... You... Ruthless... Heartless... Bastard! Go! Take Piccolo with you and get out of here now! Find Bulma, find the spaceship, and go!
overcome with pure rage and seeing Krillin die before his very eyes, Goku transforming into the legendary Super Saiyan. Once again, the trumpets of battle sound. Frieza, whose body can survive even the vacuum of space, has decided to launch an attack powerful enough to destroy planet Namek in its entirety. With five minutes left of the planet Namek extinction, Frieza finally reaches full power. His power is expanding even more than his muscles. This really must be 100% of his full power. Goku, are you listening to me down there? Quit standing around and finish him. This is our one chance. It also may be the only chance I'll ever have to fight him. If he really is the strongest being in the whole universe, I need to see if I can beat him myself. What, what did you just say? Goku, listen to yourself. You're out of your mind! There's no point to this! Krillin can't be brought back to life with the Dragon Balls a second time! And I refuse to take the death of my best friend sitting down! Krillin was my best friend! And Frieza took him from me! He killed him in an instant! Like he was nothing! 85% now! 90! Frieza, just know the only reason I'm letting you reach full power it's because I want to beat you at your best, with no regrets for either one of us. I know you want the same thing. You're itching to see what your 100% full power is capable of. Otherwise, you would have blown up the whole planet by now. <laughs> My apologies for the wait. As requested, this is my full power! Then do you want to finish this, or are you just going to keep talking? It's useless! I'm not done yet! to a million pieces! We're settling this right here and now! Just like I did that Earthling. That Earthling? Are you talking about Trillin? Don't you dare say his name! Finish this battle with Frieza, or I'll never forgive you! All right, fine! You win! But you really better be me! Don't make me regret this! Try and stop this one! You'll be done to me! Yeah. 
Then do you want to finish this, or are you just going to keep talking? Stop a little cockroach! I'm going to blow you into a million pieces! Just like I did that early. That earthling? Are you talking about Krillin? Don't you dare say his name! Elgus the Mercury, you have to tell the dragon to transport everyone except for Frieza to planet Earth! Wait! Don't make that wish! Ask the dragon to leave both Frieza and me behind! Serious, King Kai! You have to let me finish this battle with Frieza, or I'll never forgive you! No, no. Alright, fine! You win! But you really better be me! Don't make me regret this! We're settling this right here and now! <laughs> oh, the irony. He who triumphs loses everything, while the vanquished escapes. I hate to gloat, but there's a lesson here on the virtue of mercy. Its only value is to your foe. We'll see about that. I am Lord Frieza, the most powerful being in the universe. Which is why... Which is why... You must die by my hand! You fool! After a desperate struggle, Goku defeats Frieza. He tries to escape from the crumbling remains of planet Namek. But the spaceship he's found is too damaged to be piloted. Luckily, he spies a pod piloted by Guinea Force and with that safely but narrowly escapes planet Namek. Yet, the pod is not headed for Earth. It's destined for planet Yardrat. And Goku learns a new technique. Here goes! One year has passed since the battle of with Frieza on planet Namek. Frieza has survived and come to Earth seeking revenge. However, a mysterious young man suddenly appears before him. The young man then transports into a Super Saiyan just like Goku and annihilates Frieza instantly. At the same time, Goku, who was on planet Yagrat after his escape from Planet Namek, returns to Earth. 
The youth tells Goku that his name is Trunks, and he has come from the future. He warns that in three years, androids built by the Red Ribbon Army will arrive. Apparently, in the future, Trunks' friend had been murdered, and Goku has died of a heart virus. So, he has come to give Goku some medicine for his illness. Also telling Goku that he will come to their aid when the androids arrive, Trunks returns to his old time. Goku is determined to fight alongside his, his friends to avert the coming catastrophe in their futures. Piccolo, what do you say? Want to train with me and Gohan? I've been raring to fight you again. Sure, sounds good to me. Krillin, what about the rest of you guys? Thanks, but I'm going to head to Master Roshi's and train with him, actually. Oh, well, okay. Three year passes and the failure day of May 12th has finally come. Goku and the others gather at the time and place the trunks gave them. They settle in to wait for the android's appearance, but before they know it, they're already here. Up there, in the sky! He was attacked from above! Goku and the others couldn't even sense the androids before they started landing in the streets. Suddenly, Goku senses that Yamaji is key is rapidly fading. They are arriving to find him barely alive, having suffered a mortal blow at the hands of the androids. Goku leaves Krillin with the injured Yamaha and turns to face the incoming androids. There are too many innocent people here. Let's take this somewhere else. You agree to that at least? Too many innocent people? Well. That is a problem which can be easily corrected. Stop it! You bastards! It was my understanding you wanted the streets free of onlookers. Evidently, our solution does not please you. That's it! Follow me and we're gonna settle this! Goku leads the android to a deserted area away from the town they were trying to destroy. Once at a safe distance from humanity, Goku questions the androids about how they know deals about him and the others. As it turns out, Android 20 has been studying Goku and his friends ever since he defeated the Red Ribbon Army in order to learn how to defeat them. He informs that over time he has analyzed and come to fully grasp the power they wield. Anna 20 is confident that victory will be his, but Goku only grins in response. If all you know about me is from before I went to Namek, you're about to be in for a real shock! Whoa! Mm. You guys stay out of this. If I'm the one these guys want, then that's what they're gonna get. A most intriguing discrepancy, this dormant power. It departs rather considerably from the data previously compiled. But it is not remotely discouraging. His strength is within manageable parameters. Android number 19 shall now operate as your executioner. Is that right? Fine. Then get over here and fight me! I'm not done yet. We're settling this right here and now! Do not bother, it is futile! Get 
ready to see my You Amazing! His strength is immeasurable! This Super Saiyan transformation put Goku on a level far beyond us all! You <laughs> We'll see. Goku loses consciousness after his battle with the androids. Once he's been given the medicine from Trunks, he comes to a few days later. During that time, androids 16, 17, and 18 awaken, and to make matters worse, a creature named Cell has appeared, seeking the ultimate power. It is through absorbing androids 17 and 18 that Cell plans to attain his perfect form. Now aware of his new foes, Goku enters a hyperbolic time chamber so he can complete a year of training in just a single day. If I want any chance of winning battles to come, then I need to train hard enough to find a level beyond Super Saiyan. Goku plays, explains his training plan to Trunks and Vegeta, and the two of them enter the chamber first. A day passes, but then Goku senses an impending battle. It started! Piccolo's getting ready to fight! Yeah, but who? Do you think it's Cell? No. Whoever it is, I can't sense their energy. So it's gotta be one of the other androids. Stop, Gohan! We can't help it! We're nowhere near their level right now! All we do is slow Piccolo down! <sighs> Dad, that energy! It, it's gotta be Cell! He's on the move! If I use my instant transmission, I might be able to get Piccolo out of there! Thanks, Dad! Please save him!
Goku and his friend senses that Cell is approaching Piccolo's location and uses instant transmission to hurry to Piccolo's side. Just as they arrive, however, Piccolo is attacked and mortally wounded by Cell. Seeing their friend hurt, Goku and Gohan fly into a rage that marks the beginning of the battle with Cell. Mr. Piccolo! He... he's... oh no! Stay calm, Gohan! Try to sense his energy signal! You're right, I can still feel it! Mr. Piccolo is alive! I'll buy us some time! While I do, you rescue Piccolo and hurry back here! But be careful! Uh, okay! You're Goku, aren't you? That's funny. How did you get here all of a sudden? I hadn't felt the faintest trace of your energy. That's for me to know. And you to find out. Hilarious. Well, finding out isn't exactly high on my to-do list. It hardly matters anyway, since you'll soon be more bio-extract for me to drink up. Go ahead and try me then, Cell. Out of my way, Goku. This freak is mine to deal with, not yours. We're settling this right here and now! I'm here, Goku. Let me back you up. Thank you, Tien. You We're settling this right here and now. Goku, killing you will have to wait. I cannot allow number 17 to be absorbed. 16? You're actually gonna fight too? By my calculations, Cell and I are approximately equal in power. What? Cell F. Where'd you go? Show your damn face! Android 17! Behind you! Watch out! Ready to be absorbed. <laughs> what do you think? Light of Cell absorbs Android 17, getting one step closer to his perfect form. Check out my perfect form. It's perfect. Soon after, he also absorbs Android 18, thus achieving his perfect form. Following this, Cell declares that the Cell game will be held after 10 days of preparation. He states he wishes to prove the strength of his final form enjoy a little entertainment and, of course, terrorize the world. Goku completes his training in the hyperbolic time chamber. Although he says that Cell is still stronger than him, his spirit has to not been crushed. Ten days pass and the Cell games begin. The Cell games have officially begun! Now, if any of you should dare to step forward, I would like to kick things off. I'll go first. Well, well. I was hoping to save the best for last, Goku. But so be it. Come on. <laughs> Did you like that? Yeah! 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 
as I could, but it's pretty clear there's no way I can beat you. So that's it for me. Enjoying his fight with Goku immensely, Cell realizes that what a shame it would be if one of them were to lose on a trivial technicality, like going on out of bounds. But to some surprise, Goku announced that he is throwing in the towel. Believing that Gohan's strength has surpassed his, Goku entrusts the fate of Earth on to Gohan. However, Goku has misunderstood. Even though Gohan has obtained greater strength, he is still a kind-hearted youth. The truth is, I hate fighting. And I don't want to kill anyone. Believe it or not, I don't even want to kill a bad guy like you. Cell decides he's going to purposely arrange and rage Gohan to force him to reveal his true power, so he produces Cell units to inflict pain on Goku and the others. Now, my precious little babies, see those seven spectators up there? Kill them all! Oh, and do have fun. Guys, keep your guard up! These things are way stronger than they look! Damn it all! I, I'm sorry, guys. I messed up. I didn't think things would end up like this. I'm not done yet. All right, let's go. Me. Me. No. Stop it. I'm telling you to stop. All right, Cell Juniors, play time's over. Do as Daddy says and kill them all! Right now! Yeah! 
you. You've changed. You got what you wanted, and I'll never forgive you! Yourself, Cell. Now you're finally gonna pay for all the suffering you've caused. Go on. What are you doing? Finish him. It's all up to you. What, do you want me to end it already? <laughs> I'm not letting him off that easy. He deserves to feel the same pain he put all his victims through. <laughs> Am I seeing things or did he just puke up 18? You, you son of a! Huh? In a few moments, I'll blow myself to bits. <laughs> I might die, but then so will all of you. This planet will explode in a burst of flame. If you lay a finger on me, boom! Bye bye, Earth. No sense in wasting your last few seconds while you got them. <laughs> I've killed us. It's all my fault. I could have finished him, but I didn't. <laughs> I... I know that look. Sorry, I've thought this over, guys. Well... Any way you slice it, there's only one way to save Earth. Goodbye, my friends. Uh, goodbye? You're not thinking of... Goku! No! <laughs> you did good today, Gohan. Made me proud. Dad, what are you... Tell your mom I'm sorry, but I'm not going to make it home this time. His energy, it's gone without a trace. Goku uses instant transmission to bring both himself and Salt to King Kai's plan and save Earth from Salt's self destruction. Salt successfully regenerates his body and returns to Earth, but Gohan, inspired by Goku's word, stands to meet him, ready to end him once and for all. Everyone wants to revive Goku, but he asks them to stop. Take care, okay? 
live your lives to the fullest. And I'll see you again when you're dead. Bye bye. It may not have him there to protect it, but he's not worried so long as it has go on and all of them. Its future is in their hands now. And we cleared last chapter as well. Thank you all for watching, guys. That will be back with more Dragon Ball Z. Uh, this is the latest game called Sparking Zero. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, like and share this video, of course. And uh, yeah, don't mind me joining the channel. <laughs>